Environmental groups and big business continue to clash over the most important fish in the Chesapeake Bay. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Harris. And I'm Laura Queso. Menhaden plays a key role in the food chain of the Bay and the supply chain of a multinational corporation. Ted on Your Side's Chris Horn has investigated the industry for the past three years and has the latest developments now. Chris. Yeah, Menhaden's a food fish for larger fish and sea birds and sea mammals. It's also a key ingredient in worldwide commerce. And no one catches more Menhaden than Omega Protein. The company operates out of Reedville and says it got a raw deal recently when regulators set the latest catch limits. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation, it says enough is enough. Omega Protein's 250 workers turned Menhaden into fish oil, fish meal, and other products. Omega is challenging the latest catch limits set by an interstate commission. But the environmental group Chesapeake Bay Foundation says those limits are sensible. The updates to our plan uh, would allow the catch in the Chesapeake Bay to remain the same, what it has for the last five years, and we actually get a small increase in catch out in the ocean. But Omega sent us a statement that says Virginia was treated unfairly when the commission cut the harvest limit in the bay by 40 percent. Even though Virginia alone already gets more than three quarters of the allocated catch for the entire Atlantic coast. Moore says the plan adopted in November, also known as Amendment 3, is a good one for the health of the Bay. There was a tremendous amount of support from Virginians for Amendment 3. In fact, support for a much stronger Amendment 3. But Omega says despite what the Chesapeake Bay Foundation might believe, the Menhaden population in the Bay is healthy. The environmental group says if Virginia doesn't comply with the new catch limits, it could face sanctions from the Department of Commerce in Washington. Unfortunately, we're at a, a point now where Virginia needs to adopt those changes in order to stay in compliance with the Coastwide Fishery Management Plan, and Omega is really pushing back on that effort. Omega disagrees and says Virginia's situation is not quite that critical. And in fact, Omega Protein says the only way that it can get a fair hearing would be to go out of compliance intentionally and let the Commerce Secretary make a ruling. And even if Omega would lose on that ruling, the state would get a grace period before any sanctions would happen. That's Omega's. Uh, side of things tonight. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.